Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your tracks pump using sidechain compression. So I already have a track here. I'll uh, mute the sidechain compression here and you can hear what it sounds like just without the, without the pumping. You know, it's pretty stale, not a lot of movement. Still pretty groovy. But we want that pumping. So there's two ways you can go about this. You could straight up just send the kick to the instrument bus and do it that way. But this track specifically, I want all of this to pump, even when there's no kick. So the way to go about that is using a ghost track, which is essentially just a kick that is not being sent to the master. And the way I do that is I create a separate track, I load up my kick drum sample of choice, lay it out so at quarter notes at 108 BPM is what this song is at. If your kick's going at eighth notes, whatever, you know, just, just lay out the MIDI just like that. But mine specifically is quarter notes. So from there, you want to alt-click this uh, the I.O. and that will turn it off from the master. It will disconnect the send to the master so you won't hear it. And after that, you want to go to your instrument bus, load up a compressor of choice. Mine is Reacomp for this. And I actually just learned this yesterday. You can click and drag the little uh, I.O. button here right into Reacomp and it'll set up the send for you. You see the little icon on the on the cursor? But you want to make sure that is being sent to 3 and 4 on the instrument bus because that is what Reacomp uses for the auxiliary inputs. And from there, you want to just... I like to have a high threshold, but from there... or a high ratio, sorry. But from there, you want to just mess with the threshold, you know, the attack, the release, just get it naturally pumping so it's not, you know, too crazy. But now I'll show you what it sounds like with and without the, the side chain. This is without. And this is with the side chain compression. Got a bit more life to it. And as you can tell in the intro here, Let me skip to a part that's a bit louder here. Yeah, see we got that pumping as compared to... But yeah, that's how you uh, how you set up sidechain compression using a ghost track in, uh, in Reaper. If you like this track, I'll, uh, I'll play a little bit of it at the end here for you, a little bit more of it. Um, you can find it on Spotify, Bandcamp, I'll, I'll link it down in the description, but I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.